everybody, do right back at it again with another update video on Ready or Not. For those of you that don't know, Void Interactive has been dropping bi-weekly updates for what's to come for the game in the near future, I'm assuming. Like, these aren't updates that are playable to the supporters just yet, or at least I don't think this one is, because I haven't seen my Ready or Not update, so I'm assuming it's not. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and get into it. First and foremost, we would like to thank our supporter community for the feedback they have given us since the release of the previous development update, which includes a short clip of our work in progress SWAT AI breaching a pair of rooms, which is the gift that we saw on their Twitter, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. While we are still working hard to make it perfect, we have been reading your comments regarding movement, positioning, and breaching techniques. As always, we are grateful for the passion that you show for Ready or Not, and we look forward to sharing more in the future. Yeah, so for those of you that don't know, over on their Twitter, there was a lot of people that were actually complaining about just how slow the AI was when going inside. Like, they weren't, like, you know, actually rushing in to try to clear the area, and also just the fact that they don't clear their corners. Now, I know that, you know, AI can see their corners and see that there's nobody there, but there needs to be like an animation where they actually look left and right to make it seem more realistic. At least that's my opinion. But yeah, anyways, let's move on here. In the meantime, our team has also been working on other aspects of the game, with all hands on deck working to bring the next alpha update to Steam. While you will soon receive the full change logs alongside the update itself, some of the achievements you can anticipate are a brand new item selection UI. Oh, thank God, because I really hate the current one. Further improvements to the sound system new animations for multiple weapons and actions, and the incorporation of doors to the Ready or Not gameplay with the arrival of both the new map shoot house and a completely revamped version of training. We are actively testing these features internally, and we look forward to bringing them to you as soon as possible. So it actually seems like they're actually listening to us, or at least getting the hint. I guess, because they're talking about it here, but I'm not exactly seeing action here, but we'll, we'll see when, you know, the updates come out. Curious to know what uh, they did with the new multiplayer map that they mentioned. I think it's called Training, but it's really called Goddamn, because they said that they revamped it, so we'll see. But yeah, pushing on here, they talk about single player and co-op level art. On top of all of this, our artists continue to make steady progress with the texturing and lighting of the levels that will comprise of our single player and co-op campaign, prioritizing an intent to create memorable absorbing and gritty environments to immerse the player in the world and reality of Ready or Not. We want each of the levels to tell a unique, truly handmade story, and we look forward to sharing art from other levels in the future updates. So yeah, you know, they've been saying this for a while now, how they want to make it so that every level that they have is going to have some type of visual storytelling. But what I really have to wonder is how in-depth it's actually going to be. Like, is it going to be something as simple as you just see a pack of drugs sitting on a table, half open, and then you see a dead body with white stuff on his nose. You put two and two together. Like, is it that type of storytelling? Or is it actually something where you have to look closer? Like, the hints aren't that subtle. This being Void Interactive's first game, it's really hard for me to tell if they're actually, you know, good at that sort of thing. Like, the only time that I felt that they were like that was when we first found out about Carcosa. Like, when we initially saw this kind of stuff, a lot of the hints were in front of our face, but we never noticed them until they nudged us into the right direction. That was, like, the only time that I felt that they were doing decent environmental storytelling. After that, the rest of it was a little more straightforward and in your face. There hasn't really been like a secret that we've not noticed, at least not yet, but ultimately it didn't really lead anywhere because the developers have stated that Carcosa isn't actually fully complete yet, and according to people who have cracked the game, there is no existence of an actual Carcosa in the game, or at least in the version that they have. So it was kind of a bust for, you know, people who put a lot of hours into it. It kind of almost felt like this was just slapped together to keep us occupied because the trailer didn't come out back then. But who knows? Maybe it's just not in the game yet. Maybe they got a lot in store for us and we just don't know about it yet. Again, we're gonna just have to wait until the update. So, uh, yeah, let's move on here. Today we bring you the last batch of pictures from the meth level. Meth again? Jesus Christ, what's that like? The past five or six updates with only meth? Oh, well, hopefully it's in a different area. Let's take a look here. Okay, this actually looks different. They got here a storage room, likely where the most recent acquired cooking ingredients are held. What is that figure on the wall? I don't know, a spider, I guess? If this is another Carcosa thing, then I'm not gonna even look into it. I'm just too tired at this point. Moving on to the next picture we got. I don't think I've actually seen this area. Looks like there's a mattress in the middle there. The description reads, This looks like one of the sleeping quarters, although it appears to be, or have been, under construction. Similar to the areas of the house, houses like these require a lot of maintenance. Well, I'd, I'd, I'd imagine. It almost looks abandoned. And then here's another new picture. It looks like it's in the bathroom. The description reads, A shot of the entrance of one of the bathrooms, dirty and heavily neglected. And an even closer shot of the bathroom. The description reads, A wider shot of the interior of the bathroom. It looks like it hasn't been used in a while. I mean, why would you, right? The place looks stinky. And that's for 
pretty much it for all the pictures here. Yeah, so can we get another map? Can I get the second title looking at meth again? But at least these were different pictures, you know, not the same area like it was last time. So kudos for that. But let's hope that we can finally see another different map that's textured. Pushing on to the next thing we have here, it says G36C rework. Another area our artist is the review and improvement of some of our weapons. Back in the early days of development, we countered with a vast amount of references from many different sources. Today, having consulted a number of military specialists and police forces, and after doing a major amount of further digging and research, we are working on revamping certain equipment to ensure a high level of fidelity to their actual counterparts. The first weapon receiving a rework will be the G36C. You can view the comparison down between the older and newer versions below, along with the glance of the new revamped version of training. Alright, so let's have a look-see. So this is a GIF of the old G36C, and then here's showing off the newer one. Um, I believe this is actually the first floor of Goddamn. It doesn't look like... Yeah, there's like a big hole in the middle right here. And here, it doesn't even look like there's a hole here. Unless he's on a different level, which could very well be possible. Like, maybe he's on like the second level. But I can't really say for sure. But there's a bunch of like boxes and crates in the newer version. Brand new flooring. The roof looks a little more detailed. Yeah, I can't tell if he's like on the... I think he's on the second floor. And in the older one, he's on the first floor. But I could be wrong. Because there's just like no hole there. Are you telling me that they got rid of the whole bottom ground? Like, you know, basement area? Because this would be like the third time that they revamped this map. Because I remember playing the one over at uh, DreamHack and that was completely different from the one that we're playing here. They have like three different versions of this freaking map. <laughs> A map that I'm freaking sick of. But yeah, the new version of the G36C it looks pretty cool. Uh, I was never really a fan of the G36C. I think it's a cool weapon, but uh, in Ready or Not, anytime that I use it, the thing would just spray like ridiculously fast and like go all over the goddamn place. It was very inaccurate, but I definitely like the way that the sights are on both of them, really. But I think the newer one kind of looks cool. I've actually seen a lot of people complain about how the gun doesn't really even look like a G36C, especially without that front rail. Because like the whole front part is basically like dipped inwards, which does look kind of odd in my opinion. But I mean, they're giving you both options the one that's modern and the one that you know is the original so i don't think it's that big a deal or wait a minute this says revamped so that means completely re reworked right so does that mean we don't get it oh well huh well that's pretty much the end of the update here it's another relatively short one and as far as i know it's not actually a playable update because i haven't seen my ready or not update so i'm guessing it's not but uh yeah what are your thoughts on the new change for the g36c and all the other new guns i mean the only one that i actually showed off was the g36c but yeah what are your thoughts on that along with the rest of the update let me know what you think down below because i'm gonna end it here if you're someone that enjoys the fact that i cover games like ready or not be sure to comment share and like the video if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding the bell you never know you might find something that you like on the channel why don't you go ahead and stick around a little if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon just send two bucks a month that's all i really need and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye